you know, my family and I, my wife yes. and our two little kids, watched your movie, and boy, oh. I mean, it was a huge hit with oh. the whole family. It really was. How old was. are your kids? I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I have two That's older fine. kids. I have two younger kids, two and almost five. So, oh, and my daughter's the one that's almost five. And you did a great job. In this. You realize you're doomed to be Princess Jasmine for every day of your life from now I on. I know, I know. I mean, it doesn't quite feel real. Um, oh, but I, I, boy. The, well, there was one time we were just in Amman, and we went to a screening and surprised all of these kids. And all of these little girls just came, and they just attacked me. Yep. And I was like, but luckily I love kids, right? Could you Good imagine? Thing. Ooh, that would be awful if I didn't. <laughs> and, and they just attacked me, and I was like, wow, like that felt real. And I was like, yeah, this is this this is amazing. Get ready for that every yeah. single day for the whole rest of <laughs> for your the whole life. Rest. You might as well be in a Chuck E. Cheese costume. I mean, <laughs> it is going to be crazy because oh. yeah, because that me it makes a huge impression it on does. these kids, and yeah. they're going to be looking up at you, and you better not ever have a bad moment. I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Is it too late to get I out of mean, this? Yeah. Uh, oh, don't, yeah. Don't, don't, don't go searching. Were you a searching. fan of uh, the Aladdin movie uh, when yeah. you were a kid, the animated oh, version of, of it? Of course. Yeah. yeah, no. I loved the movie growing up. Um, me and my brother both loved it. Because, you know, he loved Aladdin, I loved Jasmine. Gotcha. And we played it all the time growing up. But I don't know. Somehow I always got like relegated to a boo. I could never play Jasmine. Oh, the monkey. Yeah. You were the monkey? I think because I was, you know, like small, brown, and hairy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but it made sense. It's fair enough. Uh, but yeah, so. Now, Will Smith plays the genie, oh and he's God. great in the movie, and it looks great, too. Isn't it's he crazy amazing? looking. He is. And he's the, oh. he's kind of like the, the greatest person because yeah. he just loves being Will Smith, and everyone loves him That's being Will it. Smith. Literally. I mean, he's someone, I say, like, he is. The least disappointing super su yes. superstar to ever meet. That's so I right. highly recommend meeting Will Smith. He will not, he will not let you down. And like I remember there was one time on set and we had uh, you know, we were rehearsed, we had this big rehearsal space for all the dancers, and we had Prince Ali. You guys know Prince Ali, right? Yeah? Of course. And that was just on repeat, on repeat, on repeat. And um, and then, you know, it was playing one time, and you know at the end where it goes, for Prince Ali. And I was just, you know, on the treadmill. I probably was not on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it, and I was like, you can't even lie. I was probably, I don't know what I was doing, eating something. And I just heard, Fresh Prince Ali. And he would literally, on the demo, done fresh, like, he'd said Fresh Prince Ali. And I was like... Just to delight if, everyone? If I could not love him more, I just was like, you are just the best. He loves... Loves being Will Smith. There's a big like scene in which, and your singing is great, and yeah. uh, where it seems like you're really singing. It doesn't seem like one of those things where it's on a, a track and you're mouthing along to it. Well, that's because I was. You were for a singing. Lot of it. I yeah. figured that. Yeah. Um, well, we had the amazing Simon Hayes who won the Oscar for Les Mis, so I was like, what a great opportunity to kind of sing live, you mm -hmm. know? And he was just all about it. So, yeah, the first kind of the first speech that that's that's all live. And you kind of have you have a little, little earpiece because and it's... you can't have the music playing, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's literally just I'm just singing a cappella on my own, like a crazy person on set. So yeah. everyone's around. Yeah. It's almost like yeah. you've got headphones on on the subway. Literally. And you're just no, it's it's literally that. And the worst part is that you can't really hear yourself. So they can hear like when you go off and like yeah, I don't know. I I wouldn't want to know what they were hearing. But, <laughs> well, it came know. out good. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, whatever they were hearing uh, in the takes they didn't use, it doesn't yeah. matter. That's true. It's true. True. Your brother, I heard, who made uh, you play the monkey, Josh. is uh, big, like a huge, like oh, everybody's a fan of Will Smith, but he's like a, a step beyond that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly that. Like everyone says they're a Will Smith fan. My brother, like he knows the deep cuts of his albums, you mm -hmm. know? And, you know, he had a life-size cardboard cutout of Will Smith in his room <laughs> up until the age of, like, 20... <laughs> still now! He's married and he still has it now. Like, literally. Um, and, you know, so when, you know, obviously I was like, OK, he's obviously going to want to meet Will. Yeah. And it's funny because, you know, he's never been that interested in what I do. And then suddenly it was like, oh, I really miss my baby sister. Maybe I can visit on set. <laughs> And he was like, just out of interest, I wonder, uh, when's Will working? I was like, first of all, we're in East London and you're, like, in West, so you're not that far away. Uh -huh. um, and so, anyway, 
you know, Will, is, this is what, what's so great about Will. He was thinking of all these different ideas and he was like, yeah, like, we should get Josh to come into my trailer, not knowing it's my trailer, and then, like, I'll walk in and be like, what the hell, man? And I was like, I was like, Will, I was like, his poor heart. I was like, you can't, he's gonna have a heart attack. Like, he's, uh, you can't do that to him. Um, so we settled on just, like, a good old, you know, comes up behind him. I think he gave him, like, a kiss on the cheek or something. Um, and, you know, my brother was just speechless. He didn't know what to do, bless him. What he, did he do? He was just, he just kept laughing. I think he went, he was like, oh, I was listening to your greatest hits on the way here. Like, <laughs> Smooth. I know. And then, at the, and then afterwards, bless him, he went, he said to me, he was like, he was like, nay, he was like, there were so many things I wanted to say and I didn't say. Um, I was like, don't worry, he'll, you'll get another opportunity. Oh, well, Will's going to be here tomorrow if yeah. you want to send us a list. Uh, the problem uh, is the restraining order, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that is a problem. That is yeah. an issue. Guy Ritchie directed this oh, movie, which is kind of crazy God. for Guy Ritchie to be directing you know, the, this <laughs> Aladdin, because he's primarily known for these action, action movies and even, like, these really rough movies early in his career. I know. I know. I'm a huge Guy Ritchie fan. I never thought in this context I would be working with Did him. Did you have a cutout of him I, in your room? I, not quite. <laughs> no. Not quite. Um, I love Guy. Like, Guy is literally one of my favourite people. Um, the only thing I say about Guy is, like, sometimes he's one of those people that doesn't, like, text back. You know, like, he forgets to text back. So there are, like... Five messages just from me. I see. You know, yeah. like one yeah. of the, but um, on a, I remember it was his birthday, and I was I was like I'm gonna Facetime him and sing Happy Birthday. So I Facetime him, and uh, and uh, he doesn't pick up. So I text him and I'm like, pick up your Facetime. So then he does pick up, and I'm singing Happy Birthday to him, and I'm kind of thinking, why is he shirtless? <laughs> um, and so you know, I was like, just get through Happy Birthday. So I was like, guy, what? Why are you? Sh where are you? And I said, oh, where's your wife, Jackie? You know, I was thinking, what? What's going on? And he turns the camera around, and there sitting next to him is a shirtless David Beckham. Oh, whoa. So... What? I like... <laughs> bit of context. <laughs> bit of context. This is a bombshell. <laughs> wow, good for him. That's a huge <laughs> score. <laughs> OK, quick, next. Bit of context. <laughs> They were at a spa. Oh. OK, you know, it's his 50th birthday. Oh, OK. So, you know, I, like any normal person, just go, hi, David Beckham, and, like, double name him. And he was like, you know, oh, yeah, I've heard so much about you. What do you say? Oh, yeah, I've heard so much about you too. Like, <laughs> it's David Beckham. So, you know, turns I'm chatting to Guy, and I'm thinking, Guy, I can't have a normal conversation when I know shirtless David Beckham is around the corner. <laughs> I was like, I can't just be having... So, um... Finally, he turns the camera back, and I thought, Naomi, whatever you do, just call him David. And I was like, bye, David Beckham! <laughs> and, and, like, the, I mean... And then my cousin just walked in, she was like, what is wrong with you? But I'm, like, such a huge fan of his wife, Victoria. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. So I just hope that when I meet her, like, you know, it's just Victoria. It's not Lady Beckham, it's not Mrs Beckham, <laughs> it's just Victoria. And maybe Miss she'll yet. be shirtless too, who knows? I mean, I, mate, she is beautiful, so I welcome that. <laughs> Naomi Scott, everyone, Aladdin, open Friday. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.